Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4 and welcome to my first ever best class setup here for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Today, I am bringing you guys the third generation of the Gamo class setup. And yes, for the past two years, I have brought it to the other Call of Duty games. Black Ops 2 was the Scorpion Evil with the Gamo class setup. It pretty much involves those sneaking around and be the fastest guy out there on a 1v1 combat. And damn, it was just a positive effect. I do have a lot of gameplays with the Scorpion Evil with over 70 plus kills. So you might want to check that out in my old video so you guys can see the old school uh, Gamo class setup for the Scorpion Evil. On Call of Duty Ghost, I created one for the Vector CRB. Pretty much involved the same thing and that's pretty much what it is guys. The Gamo class setup itself is just stealth, speed, and 1v1 combat. That what That's what uh, Gamo means for me every time I created that kind of class. So the Vector CRB, you know, I created for the Vector CRB. I got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people were telling me it was OP and great for rushing. A lot of people were telling me it was great for 1v1 combat. Even my brother tested it out and goddamn, he was telling me he was pretty good with the Vector CRB for a while. So, so yeah, I created two best class setups with a Gamo title on it and uh, it got a lot of positive feedback. So I'm here back in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare created one for the KF5 which I think is one of the best SMGs out there for now and I believe it deserves the God Mode class setup treatment. So let me show you guys what this KF5 best class setup consists of. Now let's start off with the attachments. The suppressor and the rapid fire are going to pretty much help the KF5 and let me show you guys why. The suppressor is going to allow you to be stealthy out there but at the same time you got to watch out with the people who have the mics on the weapons because those guys can actually see you shooting because those mics allow you to actually be seen on the mini maps. So you got to move quick. Even though you have a suppressor, you, got st you still got to move quick. You got to be aware of your surroundings. If not, you're going to get caught. So, but at the same time, for those people who don't have the mic on the guns, you're going to still be stealthy as hell. So add the suppressor. And it's very important also because it adds accuracy. I'm telling you guys, it's kind of weird, but it adds accuracy. Even though it, it does say it's right there, every time you add the suppressor, it takes away accuracy. But it's not true. It makes it more accurate, which is kind of weird. It does that the same thing for the pre previous two Call of Duty, so it's not the first time this happens. Moving on to the next attachment, it will be the Rapid Fire. The Rapid Fire is very important. Listen up, and let me tell you why. The Rapid Fire will make you take out enemies ASAP. And the reason why you need to do that, because the Rapid Fire originally of this gun, it's slow. It's really slow. It's going to be like, da, 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 and you don't want that. You want this gun to freaking take out enemies as quick as possible. It has alright damage. That's what I like about this gun. It has okay damage. Well, that okay damage gotta go in there like quicker than it is. So by adding the rapid fire, you're gonna be able to take out enemies ASAP and also beat them 1v1 in the front of the faces. That's what's gonna help you guys out in the pathways and hallways. The small pathways and small hallways, pretty much. On crampled areas, you know. So adding the rapid fire is very important for those kinds of situations. Add it, it is going to kind of affect your range, but if you're always inside the hallways in the small spaces, this gun is going to own because of the rapid fire. Moving on to the perks guys. Perk number one, you're going to have the low profile and the lightweight. The reason why you need the low profile is because I want you guys to stay off the radar. A lot of people were calling it uh, the UAV since it's one of the easiest ones to get. So in order for you to stay off the map, have low profile perk up there. Okay, so that's going to add more into your stealthiness. Moving on to the next perk, Lightweight. Lightweight is going to be allowing you guys to actually move out there as quick as possible ASAP. You know, you're going to be reaching destinations where people can't get to there first because you're fast. And once you're there, you're taking over. You got to watch over a flag. You got to watch over the kill confirmed tags. And that's when, that, and also the lightweight perk will allow you to sneak behind the enemy lines, because you're getting there first and they're not. And once you actually cross a rock or something behind a barrier, and you know they can't see you because you got there as quick as you as possible because they thought that uh, nobody can actually get there in a certain time. You know you're gonna surprise them. And you're gonna be behind them, and you're gonna take out like at least three people like back to back. I've done that before, and I'm telling you, it is worth to have the lightweight perk up there. So you guys can be the fastest guy out there. So have the lightweight perk. Perk number two, we're not going to have anything, but I'll mention to you guys why you can also change it into perk number two from the EXO ability to the perk number two. So I'm allowing you to actually change it a little bit uh, for me. Moving on to the perk number three, 
we're gonna have the scavenger and the blast suppressor. The blast suppressor is very important in order for you to get, keep your stealth. Uh, this game, every time you use the exosuit, it's gonna mark you down for the enemy, which is kind of dumb. I don't know why the hell would they, you know, I'm gonna stay away from the rants, but yeah. I had the blast suppressor because every time you jump off or double jump, you're gonna be having like a little circle around you. And that's gonna let the enemy know that you're there. So, if you add blast suppressor, you're actually not gonna be appearing at all. So you're gonna be more stealthy, jumping, double jumping, sliding, whatever you're doing, you know, you're gonna be more stealthy than, than ever. So with the combination of low profile and blast suppressor, you're not gonna be detected very easily. Moving on to the scavenger, the reason why scavenger is important because this game actually has less ammo for all weapons. It feels like you only have two mags. Half, like more than half of the time, it feels like you only have two mags, which is kind of sad because now you you always end up, pick up picking up another gun. So it is very important to have, to have scavenger in this game, and even more important than Call of Duty Ghost, and more important than Black Ops 2 because this game it feels like it doesn't have enough ammo. Okay, so add scavenger. The exo ability, this is one you can actually change. You may take it away and add perk number two on cold blood or whatever you want. Uh, but um, I like to use it like this. The exo overclock will give you guys extra speed. It's gonna make you feel like you're Speedy Gonzalez or some kind of a flash, or you know, you're gonna feel like a goddamn superhero running every time when you use the exo overclock. Because this one's gonna like to move fast. That's what it does. And that's what I always use every time I use in, uh, go in, into domination, you know, because. I want to get to the B flag first and take them all out or sneak behind them or something. This is going to allow you to actually do that every time. So you might want to think of adding the XO overclock. It's going to allow you to have more speed every time you run. But it's only like for around 5 seconds I believe or 8 seconds. So use it wisely. You can cut it like between times and stuff. Moving on to the next one will be the EXO launcher. You can have whatever you want, a flashbang, a EMP or every, anything you want. But I like to use the Santex because I want it to explode as fast as possible. I don't want no bouncy shit. I want to, to I want it to explode as fast as possible in order for my enemy to get some damage and I can kill him a lot easier. That's why I have the Santex. And also I can just shoot it to the floor and kill the enemy if they're like right in there like in front of my face and ambush me. Like I, just, I can just shoot it to the floor and it will stick and it will explode. Moving on to the score streaks, we're gonna have the orbital care package and the UAV. You can have whatever you want, guys, but I like to use these two because it's quick. I don't like to be stopped, even though the the orbital care package does make me stop a little bit. But every time I'm reloading, I'm like, okay, I can call it in. It's because I don't have sleight of hand. If you guys remember, I don't have sleight of hand. This is here. So every time I'm reloading, I can call in the orbital care package because I'm just waiting there. And the orbital care package this year actually comes in faster. I think it takes like around like five seconds to land to you compared to Black Ops 2 like where the care package takes like forever to get to you and shit. It takes like around 10 seconds to actually land and you know stop bouncing and you can get the care package. But this year it takes you like around five seconds to get the care package so which is good. So every time I'm reloading into, into a secure space I can call it in. That's why I have it this year. The UAV, I pretty much have it customized into going faster and into actually giving me more assist points so I can get the, the care package again. So it's like a big loop that I'm doing here, but a lot more easier. It goes every, it goes easier every time I use the score streak. So um, that's why I have these two. It's a good combination for me because I'm a Russian. I want everything quick. I want everything to be done quick. So that's me, guys. That's me trying to bring back the old school Call of Duty, you know, by adding it more SMGs. I will be uh, doing more SMG best class setups, guys. I'm still gonna bring up the MP11 and some other SMG. Uh, I believe that it has more range than these other two, the MP11 and the KF5. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. So that is it for now, guys. The KF5 Gamo class setup has been done. This is it. If you, I will be updating it if, you, if I add something else to it. I'll let you guys know if I add something else. All right. So that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and tell me if this gun has worked for you. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.